All right, so what I wanna do now is I wanna go over that whole um, uh, exporting and cloning thing with you again. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna highlight our, our image that we just created. And this is an important concept because what I suggest you do when you first develop your uh, first couple of virtual machines is I suggest you export them as appliances and also clone them. Uh, when you get into your other classes, more advanced classes, it's more important because you'll be changing settings on them. And if you make a mistake, it might toast your whole thing. So then you'd have to go through the whole installation process again to create a new image. So let's go through the first one is um, exporting an appliance. And basically what an appliance is, is it takes everything you've done and it makes it so you can transport it to other um, boxes if you want to. So there's a very specific method you have to do when you do this. So it's important you pay attention and understand these concepts. So you're just gonna highlight whichever one you wanna export. You hit next. Um, it normally defaults to your um, documents file in most cases. So let's, and then from there we just export. Sometimes what I do, if I set up a custom password, I know in the classroom we always use our first initial or last name and then use password, which is in a very secure environment. But sometimes what I'll do is I'll put that information in here. You can just click and add it in. Uh, that way you don't forget your username and password uh, if you come back to it a year later. So hit export. And it does all the magic. Now it comes up and it's going to give you some numbers here. Those numbers are never correct, man. They are just never correct. So um, don't fret too much about it. Uh, it's going to give you a ballpark number. Eventually this number is going to get real big. Um, it's probably going to go to like five minutes or something like that. But normally on a fresh install, it's only a couple minutes to save it. And again, it's going to save it. It's going to save it into what we call an appliance uh, configuration. Now, let's talk about appliances real quick. Uh, there's advantages and disadvantages to this. For you, it's great because you created the appliance. If you make a mistake later on, you can go in and you can just download the appliance or I mean, uh, import it into your system again and you're right where you left off. So that's great. Uh, uh, there are appliances posted on the internet and a lot of them are in hacking forums. Um, they are great tools to learn how to hack and learn how to penetration test and things like that. But keep in mind that you just don't want to go out there and download any appliance from Joe Schmuckatelli because if they know what they're doing, they can configure it to configure to your desktop and maybe cause you some havoc at the house. Um, the other thing is, is never, 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 ever run a uh, appliance from somebody else on the external internet in your car, on a bridge adapter. Uh, you want to use host or host only. I would suggest host only. Uh, it's a little bit safer or maybe an internal network where you got your system at home locked down. But for starting out, I would say host only uh, because, again, you could be opening yourself out where they, they have a, a script or something that's running in the background and they can get into your virtual box and wreak some havoc on you. So you're, you're relatively safe if you go to like Vulnhub and places like that, um, places um, Backtrack, Kali, and, and download images from them. You're pretty safe because those are reputable sources. But if you're going to Uncle Bubba's um, great appliance shop, I probably wouldn't do that. Okay, so now it's saying 14 minutes. It's, it's never really what it says. I think it's only going to be a couple more minutes here and it'll, and we'll have our appliance created. Now, I'm only going to show you how to uh, do the export uh, of the appliance. Uh, there's also a clone mode and what the clone is, is you want to create your own clone of exactly the way your system is right now. It's kind of the same concept, uh, but that, that clones it on your local hard drive. And you normally don't move a clone around where you can move the appliances around a little bit easier. Now, one thing that's important that we talked about in class, when you're creating your appliances and you're exporting them, you never, ever, ever want to export to a USB drive. Um, there's too many things that can just go wrong with it. So what I suggest you do is always export to either your desktop or your My Documents. And then once that export is done, take that file, that actual appliance, and then copy that to a thumb drive and then bring that to class or take it to a lab. Uh, same way in the classroom. If you've done some work in the classroom, uh, what I want you to do is I want you to save it to your local computer first, save it to the host computer. And then from there, uh, oh, the reason I'm laughing is because I have an Alexa device and the keyword is C-O-M-P-U-T-E-R. So now she's listening to me. Uh, anyways, you're going to take that, uh, when you save it to your local hard disk on your uh, host machine, you'll let it save in your My Documents, uh, your Documents file, whatever, desktop, and then you'll copy that large file over to your thumb drive. It works a lot faster, it's a lot more efficient, and you won't have any problems if you do it that way. If you try to save directly to the thumb drive, it, 
I guarantee it's going to be a disaster. It's going to be toast at some point. So play along with that one if you would. All right, we should almost be done here. Um, I think I'm going to cut a video here in a couple minutes showing you how to set up a, um, uh, a what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, an Ubuntu uh, interface and show you the differences in the two interfaces uh, that, that we'll primarily use in the classroom. I think that'll be good for you, and, and um, that'll put us a little bit ahead of schedule then. All right, so we've created that little, um, we've created or exported a virtual appliance. Let's go into um, my documents. Yeah, it should be down here at the bottom. So right there it is. That's, and, and all that is, it's an exact copy of my setup. Uh, and it's an easy, it makes it easier to import. It is kind of a large file, 2.33 gigs. Uh, so what I would want to do now is copy this straight over to my USB drive, bring it into school, uh, copy it from my USB drive to my desktop on my school computer. Once that's copied over and the size is right and everything matches, then what we're going to do is we're going to import that back in and I have an exact copy of what I have at, at home at school. That's how I actually create the images that you guys work with and practice with. So that's, that's the whole setup. And as you can see here, I have some other ones. Um, sometimes I get so many of them here and they get, some of the files get bigger. They can actually get 20 gig, 25 gig. So um, I'll forget my username and password if I don't put it in that little um, box that I told you about. So then I got to erase, you know, a year's worth of work that I did. So that's why I always say make sure you write down your username and password or be consistent about it. I'm getting a little bit better about being consistent about using the same setup. So that helps a little bit. Anyways, that's how you create an appliance. They're great. Just be careful when you get them from Uncle Bubba's Great Appliance online. You know, go to reputable uh, websites online and make sure you check them. And uh, it's probably preferred that you don't expose them to the outside world just to protect your computer. Good luck. Have a good day, folks. Take care.